Hi, I'm Stan, the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent, licensed in all 50 states, including yours. This is part of my Retirement Tips video series under the Stan, the Annuity Man YouTube channel. And this one, we're going to talk about three ways to have money hit your bank account, which we all would like. That's really good when money's hitting the bank account. I call that the income floor, uh, which is the guaranteed income floor, Social Security, pension, annuities, you know, rental income, whatever that money that's gonna always hit. That's what we're going to talk about today. But before that, I'd encourage you to go to my site, theannuityman.com, get all of my books for free under no obligation. I will ship them to you so that you'll understand all things annuity, the contractual guarantees, the good, the bad, the limitations, and the benefits. I would also encourage you to go there and schedule a call with me one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, you will talk with Stan, the annuity man, if you want to talk about annuities. I am licensed in all 50 states. I have a great staff that's supporting me. If you're asking yourself, how does he do that? I've got some really good people surrounding me. So let's get down to business, but not before we hear this music. I forgot to tell you, uh, shameless prop, this is a calculator, a big darn calculator, a BDC, um, but you can go to my site at theannuityman.com. We have the best proprietary calculators on the planet and you can use them at your leisure or have us run the numbers for you. It's really your call, but I wanted to mention that to you before we get started. All right, let's talk about the three ways that money can hit your bank account. The first way is using a fixed rate annuity in the industry. They're called multi-year guarantee annuities. It's the industry version of a CD, a certificate of deposit. I'm assuming most of you know what that is. This is a way to have money hit in your bank account, but you're never touching the principal. A lot of people love that. My mom loves that in St. Augustine, Florida. She never wants to touch the principal. Um, she just wants to peel off the interest. You can do that with multi-year guarantee annuities. Not all of them, but most of them will allow you to do that. So for example, if you bought a, at the time of this taping, there's a three-year multi-year guarantee annuity at 3%. That's um, available in most states. These products are issued um, by life insurance companies and approved at the state levels, but most of the uh, states have this product. Uh, but for an example, you, you buy, you put $100,000 into this three-year product at 3%, you can peel off $3,000 a year that will hit your bank account. I guess you can do it, if you decide to do it monthly, you can do it that way, or you can just have all hit one time annually, but you never touch the principal. That is one way to peel off the interest and have money hit your bank account. A lot of people like that. You can also do that with fixed index annuities, um, whatever that credited amount is. And by the way, I would watch this a, a video I did, a series on index annuities that explains index annuities in depth, but you can also peel off whatever credited interest is on the index annuity, and it hits your bank account as well. Again, not all annuity companies are uniform, and there's like herding cats, so you'd have to come to me and say, hey, Stan, this is what I want. I don't want to lose a penny. I don't want to touch my principal, and I want to peel off any interest into my bank account. I'll go shop the best carriers for you and find those policies so that we can discuss them. Okay, the other way to have money hit in your bank account, I love that sound, just boom, it's hitting you. You don't have to think about it. So what's called an income rider. An income rider is an attached benefit to a policy, typically an indexed annuity or variable annuity. And how an income rider works is that it's a separate calculation. So the real money accumulation value is here, the income rider benefit calculation is here, and it, it's primarily based, the pricing is based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payment. The older you are, the higher the payment. But the good news about income riders, it's a transfer of risk to the annuity company to pay you or if you set it up joint with a spouse or partner, joint life to pay you or, or someone that you love an income stream for the rest of your lives, regardless of how long you live. Hey, that's a good thing. There's no ROI until you die, right? Until then it's a transfer of risk. But income riders, you can structure them so that you have that monthly income stream hitting your bank account, just like your pension, just like your social security. In essence, an income rider is a personal pension, but you can defer it you know, as far out as 15, 20 years with some of them. Most people are deferring anywhere from five to seven to 10 years. It depends on your specific situation and when you want that income to start. The great part about income riders is that you can determine when that income stream is going to start. And you can change it typically with most companies, you can change that start date. So if you wait and defer it longer, you're gonna be older, which means the payments will be higher and the reverse is true. So if you start the income stream when you're younger, the income's gonna be a little bit lower because you have a longer 
longer life expectancy. Oh, by the way, I have written a book on income riders. We just talked about that. So go to my site at theannuityman.com. I will send you this book for free. Oh yeah, I've written a book on, on multi-year guarantee annuities and indexed annuities as well. And uh, my producer's like yelling at me going, Tell, show them the other ones. You know, we're getting ready to talk about the annuitized products, which are QLACs, deferred income annuities, and single premium immediate annuities. So I'll throw those books to the side. Hear that producer? There you go. The third way for, for income or money to hit your bank account every single month are, are the annuitized products with annuities. And those are single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, and qualified longevity annuity contracts. From a structuring standpoint, they're pretty much the same thing. There's no moving parts, there's no market attachments, there's no annual fees. I mean, they're transfer of risk pension products. Immediate annuities are the granddaddy of all of them. In other words, the deferred income annuities and the qualified longevity annuity contracts pretty much came from the immediate annuity side because single premium immediate annuities were developed and designed and introduced in the Roman times as a pension gift to the dutiful Roman soldiers and their families. Been sold in this country for hundreds and hundreds of years and still is the best highest contractual guarantee pro customer product out there if you want income to start right now, 30 days up to a year. That's a single premium immediate annuity. The pricing of that income stream is primarily based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payment with interest rates paying a secondary role. The older you are, the higher the payment. Makes sense. A deferred income annuity is really the cousin of the immediate annuity. The difference between an immediate annuity and a deferred income annuity, SPIA and DIA as they say, uh, in the industry. A deferred income annuity, the income can start as soon as 13 months. As far out as 30 to 40 years, you can defer that far out with a deferred income annuity. Once again, no annual fees, no moving parts, no market attachments. It's a straight transfer of risk pension product that, you know, the older you are, the higher the payment. Social Security, which is an annuity that you already own, is pretty much a deferred income annuity. The older you are, the higher the payment. It works pretty much the same way, which leads us to the third type of what I call the annuitized, creating payments annuity products that's gonna have money hit your bank account every single month. That's a qualified longevity annuity contract called a QLAC. Yes, I've written a book on it. I just showed you that and we'll send it to you as well. But a QLAC was developed in 2014 to put in your IRA, traditional IRA, and some employer plans, not all, they should be all, but not all, but your traditional IRAs. Most people are using qualified longevity annuity contracts in their traditional IRAs. The good news about QLACs, as we call them, is that you can defer as far out as age 85 in your IRA. You don't have to go that far, not a Roth IRA, traditional IRA. You can also set it up to where your spouse or partner receives that lifetime income benefit as well for as long as they live. So you can use your traditional IRA to set up a joint lifetime income stream and you can defer it as far out as your age 85. It doesn't have to be that. It can be anytime you want it, 72, 74, 75, whatever. A lot of people think that QLACs have to be deferred to age 85. They do not. But a QLAC is a deferred income annuity. A deferred income annuity is an immediate annuity. The same structure, just different places you can use them. Obviously, you cannot use a QLAC in a Roth IRA, but those are also ways to have money hitting your account every single month. All right, so let's go over those three ways that money can hit your account. Multi-year guarantee annuities, which is the annuity industry version of a CD. You just peel off the interest. You can do the same thing with index annuities. Number two, income riders, which are attached benefits to variable annuities and indexed annuities and for future pension and income needs. Personal pension and income needs, by the way, you can design it and customize it. You know, when we talk, that's what we'll do. And then the third way are the annuitized products, single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts. With that being said, that doesn't mean you need to buy an annuity. What that means is you need to get my books, you need to talk with me one-on-one -on -one so we can have a good conversation to make sure that an annuity fits your specific situation. Just remember this, with any annuity purchase, you ask and answer two questions. What do you want the money to contractually do? And when do you want those contractual guarantees to start? From those two answers, our conversations start. I start quoting all carriers to find the best contractual guarantees for your specific situation. And you get to make the decision to buy or not to buy on your terms and on your time frame. Hey, I've done a series of these retirement tips videos. I'd encourage you to check out the whole series of the one I'm pointing to right now. Go there, learn, educate yourself, understand that annuities are contracts. They're not investments in my opinion, they're contracts. So you need to understand that contractual guarantee before you pull any triggers and place any money. See you on the next Stand the Annuity Man video.